everyone, my name is Sarah with TalkToCanada.com and today I want to talk to everyone about silent letters because silent letters are very confusing when we see them in words and sometimes silent letters come um, at the beginning of a word, in the middle of the word, or at the end of the word. So a lot of students who are learning English as a second language or a third language or a foreign language have a lot of trouble when it comes to silent letters, especially when they're trying to pronounce the word. So um, because of this, I thought, hey, let's give a lesson for silent letters. And we'll talk about not all the words, but some words that have silent letters in them. And hopefully um, this video will help you uh, pronounce words in English properly, including the silent letters. So we'll start with some silent vowels. We'll start with A. You know what the vowels are, right? A-E-I-O-U. You already knew that. It's in all my videos, I think. <laughs> but um, A-E-I-O-U. Uh, we'll start with that. So we have A. Um, and then we have some words such as aisle, team. So we say team is pronounced really as like an E-E. -E team, spread, boat. So here we have, there's no indication that there is an A in there, I know, but there is an A after the O. It's just not pronounced, it's silent. Um, we'll go on to E. So the letter E, great, sounds like an A-T-E at the end, but really G-R-E-A-T. Great, awesome. Heist. Heist sounds like it's just an I, but really there's an E before the I. So be careful, it is a silent E. Pie, mmm, yummy, I like eating pie. I'm so hungry right now. Toe. Toe is a body part on your foot and you can wiggle your toe. Um, and again, we don't hear the E sound. We'll go on to another set of E words that have a silent E, um, but this time the E is at the end of a word. And in most cases in English, um, we usually never pronounce the E at the end of a word. Um, so for example, pale, uh, seen, lime. So you see there's an E at the end of each one stove so we don't really pronounce the e when it's at the end of a word in most cases sometimes we do so be careful and then we have i so here we have pale no indication of the i uh, receive sounds like two e's but it's not just trying to confuse you learners i know it uh believe so that's when you believe in something. I believe in you, you can do it. Uh, juice, mm, yummy. Okay, we have to stop talking about things that can go in your stomach right now. Uh, oh, people, people. Don't pronounce the, uh, the O. You pronounce it all like an E, people. Uh, jeopardy, jeopardy. There is no indication of O, so we don't pronounce it. And then we have U. So this is, again, a vowel. A laugh, ha, 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 ha. We don't hear the U at all. We don't hear an U uh sound like umbrella. No, no U. No, there is a U. We just don't say it. Be careful. Uh, guess, okay? So guess what? Sounds like just an E. Sounds like G-E-S-S, -S, but it's G-U-E-S-S. -S. Um, and guide. Guide sounds like it's just an I sound, but there is a U, so just be careful about this. Um, I wanna talk to you about something also special. We have the, the, the pair here, G-H. When we put them together, in many cases, um, these two letters together become silent. Sometimes they make the F sound, 
but I'm only going to talk to you about when it's silent. So in some, in some cases, hi. So this is not hi, how are you? No, hi, when something is high above, okay? Uh, so we don't really pronounce the G and H together here. Daughter, so we can hear the D-A-T-E-R, D-A-U-T-E-R, but we can't really hear the G and H, daughter. Thought, again, we don't hear the G and H. They're together, so they're silent. Um, it's not always the case with G and H. Be careful. Sometimes when they come at the end of a word, they make a th sound. Sometimes they make other sounds. So just be careful with that. Um, and they're not vowels. They're consonants. But I had to tell you about them so that I don't forget. Okay, now we'll come to silent consonants. Um, and we have many, many, many um, silent consonants in many, many verb, uh, verbs, words. Um, so we have, for example, B is a consonant, the B sound. Um, here, comb. No b sound. Tomb. No b sound. Debt. Again, no b sound. Sounds like d e t actually. Debt. But uh, but there's a silent b. C. So a lot of the times when you see c and k together, um, we will pronounce the k sound. So um, usually the 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 C sound is really not there, even though C sometimes makes the K sound as well, but yeah. So black, and then seen. So we see this a lot. If there's an S and then a C after the S, um, usually in most cases, uh, just the S is sounded out, not the C. So we don't say skeen, we say seen. Science. Okay, so here we have science and then we have another c that's pronounced like a s sound and it can do that the c i think you already know that uh d fudge fudge mm, yummy chocolate fudge oh. <laughs> bridge uh ledge so notice the pattern here we have d g d g d g judge okay um a lot of the times when D comes before G, we actually don't pronounce the D in many cases, okay? And then we have uh, the letter G, so foreign, no G sound at all. Sign, no G sound, so sign like a stop sign or any type of sign. But be careful, it's not always the rule with G and N. Sometimes when you see G and N, like G first and then N, sometimes it's a silent G, but sometimes it isn't. So here, for example, signal. So we have the first four letters, like the entire word sign in this word right here, but we don't pronounce it the same way. It's not signal, it's signal here. Okay, so here we pronounce the G very clearly signal uh, and then we go to n condemn so anytime you see m and then n uh, usually we don't pronounce the m okay so condemn column autumn autumn you know fall the season so in all these we see a pattern as well so M N M N M N, okay, and then we have P. Sometimes P is tricky because sometimes uh, in the in the, uh, the at the beginning, sorry, of a word, um, you'll see the P letter but no P sound, and sometimes in the middle of a word, and sometimes at the end. So be careful. So we have psychology, no P sound. Psychology, the study of the mind and brain and human behavior and everything almost <laughs> to do with people. Receipt. So here, receipt. Actually, here we have two silent letters, I and P, receipt. Okay. 
Um, and then pneumonia. Pneumonia. You don't want to get pneumonia. It's not good. Okay. Um, and then we have T. So in many cases, also at the end of a word, sometimes uh, T is, is not really enunciated. Um, and sometimes in the middle of a word too. So we have depot, watch, catch. Okay, so here they're in the middle and then here it's at the end. In most cases though, you'll see a pattern whenever T comes before C and H, um, the T is not pronounced. It's just the ch sound. Okay, but it's not always the case when it's at the end, so be careful. And then lastly, we have W. Answer, not answer, answer, and who. So here it's in the middle, and here it's in the beginning of the word. So answer and who. We have the two words with a silent W. Uh, there are many, 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 many more words with silent letters, but um, I thought those ones would be helpful. Um, thank you for watching my video. It's Sarah with TalkToCanada.com and tune in to the rest of my videos.